Okay, I just learned that I'm not the only one who uh, was confused about using program check and handle and dry run on a Tsugami. Um, you can see my rapids are set at 50, even at 25%, the rapids are pretty fast if you're just single blocking through a program. So, um, I got my stock pulled into the guide bushing. There's nothing here. I'm just going to run through this as if I was proving out a new program. So what I would do, go into memory, and then hit program check. Now in program check, you can turn on handle. And what this will do is let you wheel through the program like on a citizen. So just hit start. Nothing's going to move because I'm in handle. Uh, the code moved, but the machine did not move. So check. As I wheel through this program, you can see that's changing. Now I can also go backwards, back and forth and back and forth. So uh, let's look at this piece of that. If I would go in reverse, it'll move back. And then you can go really, really slow and step through your program that way. It'll run through the whole thing. Now I thought that's what dry run should do, but it doesn't. Dry run, from what the Tsugami rep told me, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but dry run basically um, it'll run through the program, but in one set speed. So like everything will be seven inches a minute or whatever number they ended up choosing. Um, so like if you have a smaller tool, like something smaller than this, whatever, you know, 15,000 cent mil or whatever, seven inches a minute is going to be way too fast. So you don't want to, you never want to use dry run really to prove out a program, um, I think. So, or I haven't at least, but what a dry run is good for. Reset, go to MDI. I'm going to change tools. We'll just go to a tool 5. And this is without dry run. This is at 50% rapids. That's fairly fast. So if you're setting up tools, uh, it's not going to give you a lot of time to hit feed hold or e stop or whatever if uh, you see that a collision is going to happen. But if you go into dry run, We'll go back to we'll go back to tool nine. This is at 100% feed rate. Look at how slow you can't even really tell it's moving. Then you can go all the way up to 150. Um, so that that gives you um, yeah, that gives you a lot of control over the speed of this machine when you're setting tools or moving things around. So that's what dry runs for and handle mode. I hope it helps.